Next we are going to solve question number 11 of 10th class math general group, exercise 1.2. We are asked to solve the following equations by using formulas. And question 11 is x minus y whole cube plus 64. Let's see its solution. We are taking question as it is and now going to solve it. Next we will see the formula that will be used in solving this question. And the formula is a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Now look at question above. In this case, a is x minus y and b is 64. Next we will apply formula using these values. Is equal to x minus y whole cube plus. Is written as it is. 64 is 4 cube. As shown in detail below. Equal comes as it is. Look at the formula below. We have to write a. R a is x minus y, so we have written x minus y plus. It comes from formula. From formula, we have to write b. R b is 4. Look at formula, we have to write a. Square. So, we write x minus y whole square minus comes from formula now from formula a b is to be written so we have written x minus y and 4 in replacement of a b plus comes from formula below 4 square is written in replacement of b square is equal to x minus y plus 4 is written as it is we have opened x minus y whole square by using formula of a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, we have written x square plus y square minus 2xy minus comes as it is. And x is multiplied with 4 becomes 4x minus is multiplied with minus becomes plus as highlighted below 4 is multiplied with y becomes 4y here we have opened 4 square becomes 16 as shown below since there is no further simplification possible so this is our answer you can easily ask questions in comments below this video Next we are going to solve question number 12 of 10th class math general group, exercise 1.2. We are asked to solve the following equations by using formulas. And question 12 is 8x cube plus 27y cube. Let's see its solution. We are taking question as it is and now going to solve it. Next we will see the formula that will be used in solving this question. And the formula is a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Next we will reshape our question so as to apply this formula. Equal. 8x cube can be written as 2x whole cube. Because if we multiply 2 with 2, this becomes 4. And this 4, then multiplied with 2, becomes 8. As shown in detail below. Plus, comes as it is. Similarly, 27y cube can be written as 3y whole cube. Because if we multiply 3 with 3, this becomes 9. And this 9, then multiplied with 3, becomes 27. As shown in detail below. Next, we will apply formula on these two terms as we have reshaped our question, according to formula below. 
Here A is 2x and B is 3y. Look at formula below. A is 2x plus comes from formula B is 3y A square is 2x whole square minus comes from formula A B is 2x 3y plus comes from formula B square is 3y whole square equal 2x plus 3y is written as it is. Next we will simplify all the terms. 2x whole square is 4x square. As 2 square is 2 multiplied with 2 becomes 4. And x square is x square. Minus comes as it is. Next 2 is multiplied with 3 becomes 6, and x, y, is written with it, plus, comes as it is, 3, y, whole square is, 9, y, square, as 3, square is 3 multiplied with 3, becomes 9, and y, square is y, square. Since there is no further simplification possible, so this is our answer. You can easily ask questions in comments below this video. Next we are going to solve question number 13, of 10th class math general group, exercise 1.2. We are asked to solve the following equations by using formulas. And question 13, is, x, to the power 6, minus, 729, y, to the power 6, Let's see its solution. We are taking question as it is, and now going to solve it. Next we will see the formula that will be used in solving this question. In this question there are three formulas that will be used. First is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square second formula is a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and third formula is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b, square. We will start solution by reshaping our question according to first formula below. Let's see how we are going to apply it. x, to the power 6, can be written as, x, cube, to the power 2, because 3 multiplied with 2 becomes 6. This is our a, square as in formula below. Minus, comes as it is. Similarly, 729y, to the power 6, can be rewritten as, 27y, cube, whole power 2, because if we multiply 27 with 27, it will be 729, and if we multiply 3 with 2 it becomes 6, so y, is y to the power 6, this is our b, square as shown in formula below. Now can apply formula. Look at formula below. We have to write a plus b, so a is x cube, plus from formula, and b is 27y cube. Again look at formula below. We have to write a minus b, so a is x cube, minus from formula, and b is 27y cube. Again we are going to reshape our question, so that other formulas can be applied. We write x, cube in brackets, plus, comes as it is, 27y, cube can be rewritten as, 3y, whole cube, because if we multiply 3 with 3, it becomes 9, and this 9 again multiplied with 3, becomes 27 and y, cube is y, cube. Similarly, 
x cube is written in brackets minus comes as it is 27 y cube can be rewritten as 3 y whole cube because if we multiply 3 with 3 it becomes 9 and this 9 again multiplied with 3 becomes 27 and y cube is y cube here we are going to apply formula of a cube plus b cube we have to write a r a is x plus comes from formula here we have to write b r b is 3 y a square is x square minus comes from formula now we have to write a b r a is x and b is 3 y so we write 3 x y plus comes from formula below from formula below we have to write b square r b is 3 y and 3 y square is 9 y square here we are going to apply formula of a cube minus b cube r a is x minus comes from formula b is 3 y a square is x square plus comes from formula next we have to provide a b in our case a is x and b is 3 y so 3 x y is written plus comes from formula b square is 3 y square 3 square is 9 and y square is y square so we have written 9 y square here we have rearranged the answer by placing x minus 3 y after x plus 3 y since there is no further simplification possible so this is our answer you can easily ask questions in comments below this video. Next we are going to solve question number 14 of 10th class math general group exercise 1.2. We are asked to solve the following equations by using formulas. And question 14 is 64a to the power 6 minus b to the power 6. Let's see its solution. We are taking question as it is and now going to solve it. Next we will see the formula that will be used in solving this question. In this question there are three formulas that will be used. First is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Second formula is a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and third formula is a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square we will start solution by reshaping our question according to first formula below let's see how we are going to apply it 64 a to the power 6 can be written as 8 a cube whole to the power 2 because 8 multiplied with 8 becomes 64 and power of a 3 multiplied with 2 becomes 6 this is our a square as in formula below minus comes as it is similarly b to the power 6 can be written as b to the power 3 then square this is our b square as shown in formula below next we will apply first formula and by applying formula, we can write 8 a cube plus b cube into 8 a cube minus b cube 8 a cube can be written as 2 a whole cube. Look at additional details. 2 to the power 3 is 8 a cube is a cube plus comes as it is b cube can be written as b cube similarly 8 a cube can be written as 2 a whole cube look at additional details 2 to the power 3 is 8 a cube is a cube minus comes as it is 
b cube can be written as b cube next we will apply second formula as given below from formula we have to provide a and in our case a is 2a plus comes as it is b is written look at formula we have to provide a square so we have open 2a square it becomes 4a square minus comes as it is 2a b is written as it is highlighted from formula below we have to provide a b so our a is 2a and b is b so we have written 2a b plus comes from formula below then comes b square next we will apply last formula a is 2a and minus comes from formula b is b and a square is 2a whole square so 4a square is written plus comes as it is a b is 2a b and plus comes as it is b square is b square here we have rearranged the answer by placing 2a minus b after 2a plus b since there is no further simplification possible so this is our answer you can easily ask questions in comments below this video